Hey guys, this is Mr. from Gamefront once again back with another video blog. It's been a while since I've uh, I've done a video blog, and there's a couple reasons for it. Uh, a, uh, I, the best opportunity for me to do a video blog is at home, but unfortunately, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that goes on at home. Dogs bark, parents come in, and it's just I don't I don't I don't, I don't like doing it at home. Um, I would do it if you know no one was around, the dogs are quiet, but that's a very rare occasion. So yeah, uh, what I ended up doing for this video blog is I, I posted a question to quip, uh, Twitter asking people for you know questions. If they had any questions that they were ever curious about uh, with regards to me, pretty much anything at all, uh, I would answer it in this video blog. So uh, let me pull up Twitter right now. I got a couple of uh, questions to respond to. Uh, let's see. Carl Amador at Carl Winston asks, Gamefront Mitch, are you still working on your voice acting stuff? Um, kinda. Um, I've been doing a little bit of, of stuff. I, I got a, a new microphone for, for my house. Um, the thing about trying to do voice acting and trying to break into it is that it's really expensive to, uh, to start up. You need to get a lot of stuff. The mic is expensive. You need to then get something to uh, capture, you know, put your mic in, there's something called like a port booth, you need to either treat your room for sound or you need to get this portable booth thingy that you can fit, uh, fit your mic in and it has, you know, foam walls and it's so that, you know, the sound doesn't escape and your sound doesn't sound like crap. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff, I just haven't gotten to that point of financial security where I can actively, uh, do some startup preparation for trying to get into the voice acting business. So yeah, I, I am still, you know, messing around with some stuff and trying to learn as much as I can, but it's not something that is in the near future for me. Um, let's see. Kalea, Kalea1, at Kalea1 asks, Gamefront Mitch, if you could design a video game, what would your concept be? Uh, well, I, I'm not a, a game designer, unfortunately. I have thought about, uh, you know, if I was to design a game, you know, what would I do? Uh, but unfortunately, those thoughts come and go with like the wind. Um, just thinking it right off the top of my head, I'd probably like to do an action game because that's probably what I'm most familiar with, and I know I generally know what makes a good action game, what not to do, what to do, uh, what makes it fun for me. Um, so if I was to try to design a game, it would probably be a you know, fast-paced action game along the lines of Devil May Cry, Ninja Gaiden, etc., etc. Um, but yeah, as far like you know what the the hook would be, or what the what would make it you know pitchable to a, a game publisher, I I haven't th uh, thought that far through it. Uh, let's see, uh, Nogalicious at Noglip asks, Game from Mitch, are you short? Not trying to be shallow slash inconsiderate. But you always look short on camera. Thank you, Nog, uh, Nogalicious. I'm actually not short. That's re this is really the first time uh, I've I've you know I've gotten the the criticism that I'm, I'm short. Uh, I'm I'm pretty average height. I would like to to believe I'm taller than Zach, or at least we're we're the same uh, same size. Uh, James is is a bit taller, but I'm 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 five eight. It's pretty much average if you ask me. Uh, but no, I, I don't think I'm short. Uh, I don't think I'm fat either. <laughs> I've seen a couple of comments saying, Mitchell, you're you're getting fat. Um, I don't think so. You know, I'm a comfortable 155. But yeah, uh, let's see. At at Cicado one asks, Game from Mitch, is your game is your job really as fun as it seems uh, through your videos? What is it like to work with games? It is really as fun as it seems. Uh, I, I couldn't ask for um, a better job in terms of the actual work. Um, there's three things that make this job awesome. Uh, and in order of importance. First, um, you know, you guys. Uh, this job wouldn't be as cool as it is, nearly as cool as it is, if we didn't get to read your guys' comments and interact with you guys. and you know, laugh about some of the, the more silly comments, the more hateful comments, and feel good about, you know, the, the really positive comments that we get. And we get a lot of them. Um, number two, 
the working environment, James and Zach are awesome co-workers, and it's so fun to come into work every day, uh, even beyond. And, you know, the third part is obviously playing video games. Um, but, yeah, just the, the work environment of coming in and being able to have fun with good friends uh, at five days a week, it's, it's awesome. Uh, you can't can't complain about that. I do wish we got a little more money, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's it's it's an awesome job. I can't complain, and I do wish that I was I lived closer to the office. I actually have to drive about an hour uh, every day. I live in uh, I live in the San Fernando Valley. This office is in Beverly Hills ish area, so yeah, it's it's a pretty big it's a pretty big drive. Uh, let's see, Eric Shun Unibol at Unibowler asks. What's your favorite Zelda game? What did you think of The Dark Knight Rises? That's two questions, and that's okay. So, um, a couple of the other questions were two questions, too. Uh, my favorite Zelda game probably would be... Mm, I would say it would probably be Twilight Princess. Uh, o Ocarina of Time, of course, is a classic, and if you ask me what's like one of the greatest games of all time, I would obviously include Ocarina of Time in there. But... Um, I think Twilight Princess is ultimately the better, th it's like, you know, Ocarina of Time, you know, but w on steroids because of the better hardware, better, you know, graphics, etc., etc. Um, yeah, that's, it would be, it would be Twilight Princess. Um, let's see, what did I think of the Dark Knight Rises? I don't know, I haven't seen Dark Knight Rises yet. Uh, oh yeah, going back to Ocarina of Time, there's one other reason why, uh, why I wouldn't put Ocarina of Time over Twilight Princess. And the reason is because those damn wall masters, those things that crawl on the wall of the forest temple and then they make that noise and they drop down, pick you up, and they take you back to the start, those freaked the shit out of me when I was a little kid. And I'm still, you know, obviously it's, it's not the scariest thing in video games. I've played s scarier games before. I've played Bioshock, uh, Resident Evil uh, 4, which... A lot of people argue when, when it's not that scary, but it's scarier than Wall Masters in Legend of Zelda. But still, to this very day, I I, I like panic whenever I'm playing through like uh, Ocarina of Time and I'm going through the Forest Temple and I just know that there's the Wall Master on the ceiling. Those things they they, they traumatize me. Um, what else? Uh, da, 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 da. Trevor Thompson at Trev Thompson six six four asks. Game from Mitch, why are you so awesome? Uh, I really don't know. I think that's a better question to turn around, point back at you, reword, and say, why do you think I'm so awesome? Uh, I, I like my uh, like my size. I feel like I'm pretty average. Uh, I feel like I'm. I feel like I've gotten better at playing games uh, and commentating over the course of my year here at Gamefront. If you watch, if you watch some of my older videos, it's pretty hilarious how poorly I am at speaking into the microphone and, uh, you know, bringing my personality into things. But, yeah, I think there was one other question here. I think it was related to the UFC. Yeah, there you go. I got it. Uh, TJ Slusher asks, uh, I got it. Uh, you should discuss some UFC, maybe the UFC on Fox on Saturday. Um, let me pull up who's fighting. I know it's Shogun and Vera. And let's see really quickly. Hold on. Alright, so Shogun versus Vera. I don't know how you can go for Vera. He's been uh, he's been out of the UFC for however long. Even when he was in the UFC, he's had like maybe two or three big wins and then the rest really disappointing losses. So I'm definitely going for uh, for Shogun there. Machida versus Bader. Uh, I gotta go with Machida. Uh, he hasn't been looking great recently, and I think people have figured out the how to beat the Machida puzzle or how to solve the Machida puzzle. But I don't think Bader. I don't think Bader has the tools to to bring him down. Varner versus Lauzon. I'm always gonna go for for Lauzon. Uh, he's my boy, and I think that's all of the main card. So there you go. That's uh my spiel spiel on uh on the ufc on saturday ufc on fox so yeah that's uh that's it for this video vlog thanks for watching everyone please don't forget to like comment and subscribe
good, random flailing. <laughs>